Ever since the WWE reintroduced the brand split, it has created another peak of interest amongst fans and even has everyone divided on which show is better. My name is John and these are 10 reasons SmackDown Live is better than Raw. I don't think anyone predicted just how great Talking Smack would actually be, especially since the closest thing the WWE Network had available prior to this was the Raw pre-show, and we all know how great and entertaining that was. Talking Smack gives so many of the superstars an opportunity to just sit down and discuss whatever is going on with them in a panel format, or maybe go completely off the chain on Daniel Bryan or whoever else is on the show, or maybe even beat people up while they're talking smack about you. It's just an awesome way to give fans another perspective and outlet to view the superstars of SmackDown Live. Hell, it was so successful that Raw Talk was created for after pay-per-views. I love Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. And really, how can you not? Shane came back to WWE calling out his father and sister for the mistakes they've made regarding the future of the company. On the other hand, Daniel Bryan is one of the most likable and insanely popular faces in wrestling history. The duo has also more of a fresh appeal to the fans because of having villainous authority figures for the longest time, no pun intended. Having Shane and Daniel as the leaders of the blue brand allows for SmackDown to be seen as more of a fair and pure styled program compared to its Raw counterpart. After WWE uploaded that short clip to YouTube with Paul Heyman and JBL getting so angry over fans complaining about the show being too long, they claimed that it was necessary to keep it at that length because of the immense amount of talent they have and the boatloads of extra revenue they make in that third hour, but the issue at hand is that fans love that WWE are willing to put on a longer show, but they don't want to have to wait around and sit through every single match on Raw. And how can you blame them? It's a long time to stay engaged, and it is apparent that the fans and powers that be disagree in terms of quality over quantity. Let me first start off by saying that I think the announced team on SmackDown is better than that of Raw. Of course, it is nowhere near the god-tier level of the trio announced team of Corey Graves, Mauro Ronaldo, and Austin Aries, but SmackDown Live having the edge over Raw in terms of commentary can be attributed to Mauro Ronaldo. When I first heard Mauro calling matches on SmackDown, it just blew my mind. I couldn't believe that I was finally once again listening to someone call almost every single move, and that he was yelling it with so much passion. It was just so refreshing, and it makes sense as to why he's so good, as he started commentating at the age of 16, and grew up watching professional wrestling. I really did not think this would be that big of a deal. I really just didn't think that having the WWE Championship on SmackDown would make the show any better. And that's only because it makes it better by comparison because the WWE Universal title makes Raw so much worse. Whenever the belt was first unveiled, the fans responded with degrading chants towards that fine piece of red leather. But I think the fans had the right to be a little upset. They were expecting a new belt design to show that maybe Raw doesn't need the WWE Championship, but they made a belt that just seemed like a knockoff version of the original. And the only place you're gonna see that prestigious title is on SmackDown Live! Hot oh, damn, this is exciting! Having the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown gives the blue brand yet another edge over Raw, since the title looks and feels like a more prestigious belt than the US Championship which could use a new look. However, the division of people fighting over the IC title has been better in regards to putting on great performances both inside and outside the ring, with well-developed storylines never lacking. Whereas the US title has been defended on Raw with the same two or three people every single time. I cannot seem to stress enough just how not having the authority is a great way to convince fans to watch your program. Having a show going on knowing that the management are going to do their best to only provide for the fans but do it while checking their moral compasses allows for the fans to be engaged in more of a positive perspective as opposed to knowing that they're going to get screwed over by the authority or whatever have you. So really, not having the authority on SmackDown is a one-up in my book. The foundation for SmackDown Live was making sure that everyone got an opportunity. It makes the fans feel as though the superstars have more of a fighting chance in getting, per se, a title match when they deserve it. Whereas Raw superstars might have to jump through more proverbial hoops to get to the top. While some can get to the top because of the powers that be, 
All in all, SmackDown feels like a very leveled playing field in terms of competition, which can make it that much more exciting to watch. It also seems as though SmackDown has just better storylines and even better transitions into those storylines. One example of great transitions of storylines is Nikki Bella going from feuding to Carmella to Natalya finally utilizing this long felt hatred for her to beat her up as well. And it looks like Maurice is heading down that path as well, which makes sense given her past beef with the Bella Twins. SmackDown has so many amazing feel good moments, even in the tag team division. I would have never expected to see Heath Slater and Rhino win to ensure that Heath Slater has a job and gets a contract and gets a freaking pool. And then to be defeated by Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt, it's just incredible. Originally, what I had planned to talk about for this last reason for why SmackDown Live is better was that I was going to say that they had better main event talent, but that isn't exactly true. They have more polished athletes that have either been working with the WWE specifically on the highest level for longer than almost anyone, having an incredible amount of lyrical talent that goes perfectly with their characters, or are just so respected because of their ability to put on great matches, and most of these guys bring in large numbers in terms of merchandise sales. Furthermore, it just feels like SmackDown has established and at that, cemented their main event level talent. And these were 10 reasons SmackDown Live is better than Raw. I hope you're all having a great day, thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I'll see you later with more wrestling videos.